Welcome to Cashflow Positive Media, your guide to financial freedom. We're here to arm you with knowledge to help you navigate the sometimes turbulent waters of finance. Today's topic is one that's often misunderstood yet vitally important, economic recessions. Understanding these downturns is the first step to weathering them successfully, and it's a journey we're about to embark on together. So sit back, get comfortable, and let's dive into the world of economic recessions and how you can navigate through them. To navigate an economic recession, you first need to understand what it is. An economic recession is a period of temporary economic decline during which trade and industrial activity are reduced. It's typically identified when a country's gross domestic product, or GDP, falls for two consecutive quarters. Imagine a country's economy as a roller coaster ride. The uphill climb represents economic growth, and the downhill fall, that's the recession. Now let's talk about what causes these economic downturns. The causes of recessions are multifaceted, and they can be triggered by a variety of factors. These may include a burst of an economic bubble, such as a housing or stock market crash, a surge in oil prices or even a global pandemic like we've seen in the past few years. The effects of recessions are just as complex. They can lead to higher unemployment rates as businesses struggle to keep their doors open and may need to lay off employees. Consumers tend to tighten their belts, spending less on goods and services, which can further exacerbate the economic slowdown. It's also worth noting that recessions can have both direct and indirect effects on individuals and households. Direct effects may include job loss or reduced working hours, while indirect effects could be the devaluation of assets or an increase in government debt, which may lead to higher taxes in the future. However, not all is doom and gloom. Recessions can also bring about necessary economic adjustments. They can help to clear out unprofitable companies, making way for more innovative and productive ones. They can also lead to lower inflation and perhaps even lower interest rates, which can be beneficial to borrowers. It's like a forest fire. While destructive, it also clears away the undergrowth, allowing for new life to spring forth. Similarly, recessions, although challenging, can pave the way for economic renewal and growth. Now that we know what an economic recession is, how can we prepare for it? Preparation is key when it comes to weathering a recession. Now let's talk about how you can prepare for a potential economic downturn. There are three main strategies you can adopt. Building an emergency fund, reducing your debt, and diversifying your income. Firstly, an emergency fund is an absolute must. This is a stash of money set aside to cover the financial surprises life throws your way. These unexpected events can be stressful and costly. Having an emergency fund provides a financial safety net so you're not left scrambling to make ends meet. Aim to have at least six months worth of living expenses saved up. Yes, it might seem like a daunting task, especially if you're starting from scratch, but trust me, every little bit helps. Secondly, reducing debt is another crucial step in preparing for a recession. When the economy takes a nosedive, the last thing you want is a mountain of debt weighing you down. High interest debt, such as credit card debt, can quickly spiral out of control, especially when money is tight. Start by tackling your highest interest debts first, and work your way down. Remember, the goal is to be as financially unburdened as possible when a recession hits. Lastly, diversifying your income can provide an additional safety net. If you're solely reliant on one source of income, a job loss can be particularly devastating during a recession. Consider picking up a side job, freelancing or even starting a small business. The idea is to create multiple income streams so that if one dries up, you're not left high and dry. In conclusion, preparing for a recession involves building a solid financial foundation. By setting up an emergency fund, reducing debt, and diversifying your income, you can protect yourself from the worst of an economic downturn. Remember, the key is to start preparing now, not when the recession is already upon us. Being prepared can make a significant difference, but what do you do when a recession hits? Stay tuned to find out. A recession has hit, you're prepared, now what? Well, the first thing to remember is that though recessions may seem daunting, they are part of a natural economic cycle. Just like how seasons change, economies do too. With the right strategies in place, you can navigate through these economic winters with relative ease. One of the most effective strategies during a recession is to cut unnecessary expenses. Tighten your budget belt, so to speak. Now this doesn't mean you have to live like a hermit, but it does mean you should be more mindful of where your money is going. For instance, consider eating out less or canceling that streaming service you barely use. Small changes can make a big difference over time. Next, let's talk about investing wisely. Now, it might seem counterintuitive to talk about investing during a recession, but hear me out. 
recessions often present great buying opportunities. Prices of assets like stocks and real estate usually plummet. And if you've been prudent and have some cash saved up, you can snag some of these assets at bargain prices. The key here is to focus on long-term investments, those that will likely appreciate in value over time. Remember, the goal is not to make quick bucks but to build wealth over the long haul. But investing isn't just about buying assets, it's also about investing in yourself. During a recession, job security becomes more important than ever. Upskilling or reskilling can make you more valuable to your current employer or more attractive to potential ones. Consider taking courses, attending workshops, or learning a new trade. Not only can this increase your earning potential but it can also provide a sense of security and control during uncertain times. Finally, it's crucial to stay informed. Keep abreast of the latest economic news and trends. Understanding the broader economic landscape can help you make better financial decisions. For instance, if the government is implementing policies to stimulate the economy, that could signal potential investment opportunities. Before we wrap up, let's touch on the importance of maintaining a positive mindset. Recessions can be stressful no doubt, but remember, they are temporary. By staying calm, making smart decisions, and keeping your financial health in check, you can ride out the storm, and once the economy starts to recover, you'll be in a much stronger position than before. Now, cutting costs, investing wisely, focusing on job security, these are all effective strategies for navigating through a recession. But they're just part of the equation, because once the recession is over, you'll have another challenge to face recovery. Remember, recessions are temporary, but how can you recover after a recession? The storm has passed, it's time to rebuild. That's right, the recession is over, and now we have a chance to pick up the pieces and recover. This next phase is crucial, as it will determine our financial stability for the years to come. First off, we need to start rebuilding our emergency fund. This fund is the financial cushion that protects us from unexpected expenses, and it's likely that during the recession, we had to dip into it. Now, it's time to replenish. Prioritize this fund in your budget, even if it means cutting back on some non-essential expenditures. Remember, this is not a luxury, but a necessity. It's your safety net. Next, it's time to evaluate your financial situation. Take a good look at your income, expenses, savings, and debts. Did you take on additional debt during the recession? How much of your savings did you use up? Answering these questions will give you a clear picture of your current financial health. Once you have this information, it's time to make some adjustments to your financial plan. Maybe you need to pay off debt more aggressively, or perhaps you need to save more for retirement. Your financial plan should reflect your current situation and future goals. Don't be afraid to make changes. This is not a time for complacency, but for action. As you make these adjustments, remember to stay flexible. Economies are dynamic and so should be your financial plan. Keep an eye on the market trends, adjust your investments as needed, and always be ready to adapt to new circumstances. Lastly, don't be too hard on yourself. Recovering from a recession is not easy. It's a process that requires patience, discipline, and persistence. But remember, you're not alone. Millions of people around the world are in the same boat, working tirelessly to rebuild their financial lives. Recovering after a recession can be challenging but with the right steps, it's entirely possible. So stay positive, keep pushing, and before you know it, you'll be back on your feet, stronger and more financially secure than ever. Scene script. Government and policy play a significant role in both the onset and recovery from a recession. Let's start with a scene from an everyday life. You're driving your car on a busy freeway. There are rules of the road, right? Speed limits, traffic lights, and so on. These rules help maintain order, prevent accidents, and keep traffic flowing as smoothly as possible. In the same way the economic journey of a country is guided by its government and policy. Government policies can sometimes inadvertently lead to economic recessions. For instance, if a government decides to cut spending drastically or raise taxes significantly, it could slow down the economy. This is because less government spending can lead to fewer jobs and higher taxes can reduce the amount of money people have to spend. Both of these scenarios can lead to less overall economic activity, potentially triggering a recession. On the flip side, the government can also exacerbate a recession by not responding appropriately. If a government fails to act when the economy is slowing, the situation can get worse. For example, if a government does not adjust its monetary policy to stimulate the economy during a downturn, a mild recession could turn into a severe one. But it's not all doom and gloom. 
the government also has the power to aid in recovery from a recession. Remember the traffic analogy? Just as traffic lights help regulate the flow of cars, government policies can help regulate the flow of money in an economy. During a recession, the government can use fiscal policies such as increased spending on infrastructure projects or tax cuts to stimulate the economy. These policies can help create jobs and increase consumer spending, helping to pull the economy out of a recession. In addition, the government can use monetary policy to aid in recovery. By lowering interest rates, the government can make it cheaper for businesses to borrow money to invest and grow, leading to more job creation and economic activity. Understanding the role of government in the economy is crucial. Just as a driver needs to understand the rules of the road to navigate successfully, we need to understand how government policy affects the economy to navigate successfully through economic downturns. So, whether it's the onset of a recession or the path to recovery, the government and its policies play a significant role. It's like a double-edged sword, it can either cause harm or aid in healing, depending on how it's wielded. Understanding the role of government can help us anticipate and react to economic downturns. Navigating through an economic recession can be tough, but with the right knowledge, it's manageable. We've taken a deep dive into understanding what an economic recession is, the signs to look out for, and how to prepare for it. We've also explored ways to navigate through a recession and strategies for recovery afterwards. The role of government and policy in managing recessions is crucial, as we've discussed. It's a complex dance of fiscal and monetary policies that can either alleviate or exacerbate the situation. But remember, as individuals, we are not powerless. With careful planning, strategic decisions and a good grasp of financial knowledge, we can weather the storm. Knowledge, as they say, is power, and in this case, knowledge is also financial resilience. So, let's continue learning together. Don't forget to subscribe to Cashflow Positive Media for more finance facts and hit the thumbs up if you found this video useful. Till next time, stay cash flow positive.